Hello loved ones, how are you doing? It has been some time, right? But well, here I am. Not leaving alone, not walking away. You know, I'm gonna be here, I'm gonna be here. So don't worry about it, I'm gonna be here. And just wanna take the time out to welcome you to Why Not Grandma. And if you're coming in for the first time, my name is Joan. All right, J to the O to the A to the N, indeed. Okay, so we are going to be looking at some grains. We're going to prepare some grains. So follow me right to the kitchen and let's have some fun, okay? And I might do a little drink before or, yeah, while I'm doing the grains. But let's see how that works out. Um, thank you for joining, you know, sharing cyberspace. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, a thumbs up, and I'll continue to bring you contents of importance, contents of value. All right? You take care and enjoy. Loved ones, loved ones, loved ones, here we are. We're going to make a drink. Ah, yeah. Mint? Yes, this is peppermint. Because this is growing, this is too stringy. So, taking off sections of it. Have a larger one. I don't think I've ever shown you that one. See, yeah. Ooh. Okay, now I need to bring the camera back. Not sure if it's back, but um, so I'm getting this to make a lovely drink with ginger, ginger, and I need some oregano. You see, we have so many of these that we use them in abundance, and that is fine because we're supposed to be taking what X amount of drops per day oregano oil. I have no idea. I don't remember how many drops. I just use them in abundance. And I don't necessarily use them every day, I wish. But that's not the case. I don't cook that often. Alright, let's do this. See this? I use twice time this amount in a whole pot. Okay, it's raining, it's raining, it's raining. Let's go, let's go, let's go inside. Okay, so the, the rain has messed up things a bit. But I'm just taking it slowly. So, alright, so the drink is supposed to be peppermint and ginger. I'm just adding some other stuff to it, as usual. So I had the ginger boiling and it's not giving me that flavor. And that little bite you know what i mean so i just took it out blended it and threw it back in so it's there on the stove i'm just gonna throw the mint in and throw a little fever grass because i did not get to put the fever grass in what i was cooking i'll tell you more about that and i put some of this as well i'll put this the whole thing so let's do that in olden days, people used to use three, three different bush, you know, hold on, three different set, but I'm in this for the flavor. So, dropping those in. All right, I'm just going to allow it to seep. Get a better flavor that way. So that's pretty much concentrated because it's not a large pot really so and cover it and it's gonna seep it can stay for for as long as doesn't matter so what i'll do i'll just throw some ice in and drink and enjoy not mixing it with anything again i say flavor yeah so you know to seep you have to turn the stove off you turn the fire off right so this is pretty much 
yeah after a few minutes half an hour or so it's very ready 15 minutes or so yeah it's very ready and nice tasting flavorful flavorful now this is what i was doing when i went to get the the um when i went to get the herbs for the tea let me see i hope the fire is low still low it is still low okay all right so i wanted to have you incorporate you in this from the initial stage but because the rain started coming down and i had some clothes on the line I had to go take them up on whatever by the time I came back the water was dried out almost totally dried out so um, that's the case but I'll tell you what is in it and what's happening here so what I have here is bulgur which is this so it's almost a pound it's 400 gram and I have two packs of this let me hold it properly it's quinoa, red quinoa. And it's two packs. See, two packs, two packs, two packs. I used. And, you know, I can't really tell you the taste of quinoa. Like, on its own, I hear people say they don't like it, but I don't know what they're talking about. Because when I prepared it, I prepared with a lot of things. So, I don't get the real taste of it, but... I put a little rice, like a little, like a half cup, a very small amount of rice, just to kind of hold it together, because I like to do that when I'm using bulgur. So let's say it's about two pounds, approximately two pounds of quinoa and a pound of bulgur. That's the short, a few ounces in total. All right, you notice it's very dry, very dry, very dry, because I put a small amount of water and oh man i have some things in it i have to be careful even in the middle here because i have pepper i have scotch bonnet but you know what i'm not smelling this scotch bonnet so that's probably scotch bonnet cousin so nothing is happening there for that one but when i'm preparing rice and peas or whatever grains all right you know grains are supposed to soak for how many hours like soak all night overnight i didn't plan to cook i was just hungry I feel really hungry and was decided, you know, I am going to do this. And normally I don't know what I'm going to prepare until I get up and look around and see what I have and put things together. So I have a little bit of rice. I have the bulgur and I have the quinoa. All right. So I like to spice up my stuff because when I'm done, it should be able to eat on its own. Just eat alone. You're not going to do that. But in case you have to. Mm hmm. That is it. So, hold on. So, I like when my grains are like this. Yes, I really love when they're like this. Really dry. Some persons prefer it a little soft. I, I, mm -mm. I, I don't want that. So, and actually, when I put the when I put the items in the pot, it was maybe about quarter, maybe about somewhere here, you know, but I know over time it would have been all the way up to the top. And I'm doing it how many hours now? 11.22. I am, I think I'm supposed to do about three hours. I'm going to do about three low heat so it won't get burnt and because because i mean everybody get up and they cook their rice in 20 minutes and it's okay everybody live pretty much so it's not like i really have to do the entire three so do about three Next time, I'll soak it overnight. But I have to know that I'm doing it first. And usually that is not... Uh oh I'm messing up the stove. Usually that is not even the case. All right? So let me tell you what is in this now. Um, all right. So we have... 
this is pimenta leaves so these are dried so I have to get them out I have to take them out I have a lot what I do what I did I just like I make a hole there and I put some I make a hole there and I did that and I did that and I went around doing that and in the middle I also do the same with garlic onion um, very finely chopped oregano so many oregano leaves like about uh, 12 of them and um, I just put them in different places there Oh, what else? Pimental leaves, basil, dried peels, orange peels, dried celery. So, you know, the dried ones, I have to look for them and take them out. And, well, since it's just me alone, I can probably leave them in there. It's no problem. But if I'm preparing it for you, then I'll have to take them out and, yeah, so that none gets into your plate. All right, so... Uh, onions, garlic, what else is in there? And the scotch bonnet pepper, I told you, you hear the thunder? Would you believe that when, you know, after taking up all the clothes and everything and so on, the rain just stopped? And then the water was already dried out, this thing. Can you imagine? And you hear it, a thunder. Anyway, anyway, that's not the subject. So, we continue. Um, so, what else is in there? I think that's about it. I'm not smelling the pepper even now, so I'm not smelling it. Hold on, let me get something. I can take it out easier. Okay, let's put them in that. That is safe, yeah. Can't take out everything. That's going to bore you, spending all the time doing this. I kind of like to think of what... I would prefer and then have an idea of what might just pretty much bore you, you know? You see how nice it is? Oh, so can you imagine this with all the flavors, the spices? Dry and nice, and then you have the spi well spiced, well spiced, so dry. Only thing I have to be careful about, you know, is when I get into the middle of it, because that's where Scotch Bonnet cousin is. That's definitely Scotch Bonnet cousin, because I even know I'm in it and I'm not smelling anything. All right, let's go down. This is not the center, you know, close to the center. What's the G? Oh. <laughs> oh. For a moment. All right, she's right here. I thought it was part of it and I'm like, oh my God, it's broken, it's broken, it's broken. But it's not. Not smelling a thing. No, sir. Smell hot like it's it's um like it broke. But I don't think it would be too bad. It would be just that area somewhere right here. So I just try to remember. I just do that so I can remember where. So I can take that out first and I can't eat that just in case I have to share with somebody then I don't I don't give them that part of it so yeah I don't think it it broke kind of smell that way when I put it up to my nostrils but I think so yeah that's about it as for the whatever the green stuff like the oregano leaves and so on I don't know if you can see the the green there yeah the little green Mm -hmm. that no you can't see onions garlic you won't really see those those were really finely chopped oh loved ones that's about it sweethearts ah uh, sorry okay i continue with this thing and then no for this for this um, there are things that cannot stay in there like, oh, what did I put into this now? What did I put into this? 
So this has a little pinch of salt. I don't have that in the rice, quinoa, whatever. Because I don't normally use salt. I don't practice to do it. You know, a whole bag of salt I can have for five years. A whole pound or more, more than five years. You know, I can have it like forever. So a little pinch of salt. I have onions, garlic, I have coconut oil. I have two oregano leaves finely chopped and I put lemongrass in there because I didn't get a chance. I didn't realize that I had some lemongrass there on the grill. So I didn't realize I had enough. So I didn't put it in the rice. So I put it in this. And that's about it. Lemongrass. That's fever grass in Jamaica. So the, this has to come out. It can't stay in there. Oh boy. I love it to cool. And what I'm going to do actually is mix it with veggies. Like you would. Like you would. Um. What is it called? Mayonnaise, like you would mayonnaise, yes. Just the way you'd mix it up with mayonnaise. I'm gonna just do that with veggies. That's the vegan one. So, and I kind of don't really see the sense in these kind of salad stuff, really, because they're starch, you know. So much starch, though they say it's better than rice because I don't know, it breaks down take a longer time to break down it seems in the blood but still but anyway sometimes you're in a mood you know <laughs> sometimes 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 you are in a particular mood and you just want to prepare certain things and so just taking all the orange peels and because you know, right after you're finished cooking, these things are supposed to come out the pot. Nobody needs to be seeing them because they're not attractive. I mean, you know, not like they're not finely chopped and whatever. So nicely where they're attractive. So, all right. So that's basically it. I think I told you all that is in there. And all that I'm going to do is just mix it up with the veggies and that's it. Ready to go. Put it in the fridge. It's cool and ready to go. All right, <laughs> you're the thunder. So I am not sure what exactly I'm gonna eat <laughs> with it as yet. Um, I have spinach. I think that's the only green vegetables in there. Spinach. So I have sardine. That's hurricane food. I have butter bean. I have different types of beans and and the quickest the one that will be prepared in a few minutes is is um lentils i love red lentils five minutes and it's ready to go so i don't know if i'm gonna do that I, I, as soon as i figure something something out i will close the video with that all right whatever it is and i'm gonna eat with this so Give me a few minutes to figure it out. Give me a few minutes to figure it out. In case you're wondering why is it I do not use, I haven't used the coconut milk because it would be the powdered milk and if I have coconut oil that is even better. You understand because I don't know exactly what or what is in the powder. So though I like it, I am trying to move away from it or if I use it it's gonna be occasionally like few times for the year yeah so um, that that is it as it relates to the coconut oil I just had some of the tea so good so good but I'm gonna have it cold though cold is not good cold is not good you can have it sometimes but Cold is not good. Cold drink. Cold drink is not good. You avoid it as much as you can. It's always best to take them hot or warm. It doesn't matter how hot the day is. Yes, sweetheart. Yeah, man. It's like it's going to rain. Really, really, really like it's going to be a thunderstorm. But I need to figure out what I'm going to eat with this first, though, before all that. Because I don't know if it's going to affect the Wi-Fi and, you know, all of that. What is it, sweetheart? 
when I say that um, I have some things on the grill, uh, I never realized that I had this, that I had enough to put in the rice. This, yes, I have some things here. Yeah, I do have some leaves. I need to make a tea with this one. I need to show you some. A drink, a drink. Yes, not the tea. Ah, I found the tea, but the drink, the drink, the sincerity. One that cleanses the cell. Yes, now look at the sky. I tell you, it's crazy out there. Sky is crazy. That's why it was raining on his top. So I think we're definitely going to be getting the rain. Or maybe the cloud is moving. So it's probably it will probably just pass by. I don't know. See lightning. Hmm. After the hurricane, you know, when the electricity returned and I cleaned out the fridge, I knew that those would not stay very... Well, I didn't know about the sweet peppers, but that the zucchini and the broccoli would not be able to stay for a long time but guess what after that i totally forgot about them that's what a week now some days hold on what's going on oh you hear the rain okay this is the veg veggies i have i bought this at price smart so i have what half of it left or half. Yeah, I bought this a price smart. So the grains are finished. You can see the quinoa. Look at them. Oh, well, it, it's it's for three hours. Low heat, three hours. Grains usually take three hours. The quinoa, I don't think they take that long, but I don't know. I'm not sure. But I know grains are supposed to really take um three hours and then you can soak them before let me see directly behind me and see oh oh okay inside is a little dark because of the rain and hold on that's better right okay you see that so that's kind of across from the stove what is it and um all right let's go over there what is it what? all right now look so i have pimento there and this is actually the laundry room door so somebody had asked me if the fridge the refrigerator is in the living room or if it's in the listen all right, it is supposed to be on this side, so it would be adjacent to here. I don't like the outlet over here. And it doesn't matter. So, yeah. So, thyme. I didn't remember thyme. If I remember that, I would have put that in my pot. And that's more pimento leaf. And this one, I don't, this is, must be some form of mint or something or something, something, something. But yes, I keep some stuff. This is very good, you know. Spike, spike, non salt, yeah. Anyway, let's go outside. It was raining and wait, so it's all wet out here. So the babies had the meals, so it is all wet. All right, let's see. Um, oh my, mia. so we had a lot of wind because look at this. Remember this, I told you I would have put them together, tied them together, and I did. So we had wind today when we had the thunderstorm. I didn't even know. When you're inside, it's hard to tell what's going on outside. Outside here. With the rain. Especially when you're occupied doing something else. Yes. Nice to be out here. But, um... But actually, we're just closing off because guess what? I know I had promised you the 
to prepare something else but my oh my dear lovely daughter brought me something and then some Chinese food and then I, I just didn't bother to prepare something to go with that meal so we stop it right there as is another time I'll prepare something else yeah so another time but I'm good I'm good yeah man so I just want to tell you eat as healthy as you can do the best you can exercise don't do like me exercise exercise it's important all right what are we doing these things for is it to live long um i don't think these things guarantee long life really but what i know for certain is that clearer minds clearer minds yes that's guaranteed when you eat properly clearer minds so we do that and we hope for the best all right we take care of ourselves as best as we can and um this is grandma saying i'll catch you in the next video so peace and i am out of here don't forget to subscribe like and tell me where you're viewing from okay and whatever ideas you have you can share with me in terms of healthy meals or a healthy drink or so on please all right but for right now i'm gonna be um i need to be going down the road to get some of those some plans to make a drink for you that's for the next video so i'll do that later on for the next video you take care bye bye love you yeah